Așa.
All right, welcome everybody to tonight's broadcast of Florida Southern College Mox Rocket League. I am one of your hosts, Coach Antor. Alongside me is... Uh, I'm Coop, or Callan, yeah. and today we're playing High Point University. We are. Last match of the regular season for the NACE Star League, and we are off to the races. With a no-sided kickoff straight into a Mox territory. Wilk hitting it back towards goal. Setting up, defended by patient zero, but Creed's going to be there trying to set up one of his teammates, and Cabot has the return. Theory just unable to get that tap. It goes back into his own team's territory, but Creed has the follow-up. Cabot with a nice uh, clear there, but coming back into the defensive end of the mocks. Now Cabot having an opportunity. Creed going to interrupt that dribble. Now in the air. Snatch it away. He is. Now Wilk has a chance here. Beautiful setup, but there are just too many bodies there from FSC. HPU can't do anything with that space. The beautiful send straight down mid and just into the goal from Patient Zero. You saw three people all rotating on the same ball. Look, all three HPU members. What does Patient Zero do? I'm just going to send that to goal. None of you guys can get there. Absolutely. And that's why we don't triple commit. <laughs> exactly. Yep, a triple commit is going to cost High Point that goal. FSC now up 1-0 in game number one. Wilk can't quite make a connection with that, giving Florida Southern an opportunity to clear the ball to the other end. Patient Zero with the center to Pranzor. Oh, it's, Just a, it's a brutal crossbar. So And Theory is able to rotate and clear. Patient Zero should be able to clear this one out of mock territory pretty simply. Creed comes in with a tap at a center, but... Once again, FSC just has bodies there to send it deep down mid. Cabot, centers, nothing done with it. Patient zero, keeping the center up. Theory trying to clear, sends it left to his teammate. Pranzor is there, just floating around. Playing the neutral game right now, it's a question of who's going to make that first mistake. And Cabot sends, will it center? It's a great center. Pranzor has follow up into goal. Nice. Absolutely wonderful passing there by Florida Southern. A nice shot there in the goal. Puts them up 2-0 in game number one. Pranzer, nice shot there. HPU just unable to get a decisive clear there. Absolutely. And Florida Southern just following up on it. Pressure so, after pressure. A lot of opportunity there for the Mox as they continue to push the ball towards the center on that offensive end. Eventually getting it through the net. Looks like we have an interesting center opportunity here. It's going to get pinched to Pranzer. Uh, nothing's really able to be done with it, but we're going to see more mock follow-up and potentially just additional pressure leading to another goal. Absolutely. HPU is all three out of net right now, but the rotations are back, so we're going to see another stale peri period here, but definitely an opportunity there for Mox to take another goal. Cabot centering. Wilk going to try and deny it. He does deny it quite well, actually. He's just barely avoiding getting demoed by his own teammate. But then Pranzer does the work for him. <laughs> Patient zero, going in for that clear. Doesn't get it. Cabot has the defense. Uh, Theory's going to return, though. And that goal is not open. Pranzer's back. He says the goal's not undefended. Let's see if he can get a nice little air dribble center. Nope. Tried to get his... Uh his, his uh, jump back there, couldn't quite do it. His flip reset. Oh, beautiful saves there. Nice. Florida Southern looking really strong tonight. I wasn't sure if they had a man there for that second save, but the rotations were on point, and two shots, two saves. Nice shot there by Cabot, draining the ball into the net, going up 3-0 now against High Point University. You just... Pushes forward, and nobody's rotated into net by the time he takes that shot. They're just forcing these errors. Now Pranzer with a the clear there. Doesn't quite get it out, but now Cabot has a chance. Going to go off the wall. Is patient zero there and ready? Not quite. He's going to go back into Mox territory here, unless Pranzer has something to say about it, which he does. Sets it up for Cabot. Which is, oh. the, that crossbar again, just not serving them well. <laughs> Most <laughs> valuable defender for High Point has been the crossbar. 
All day. All that's day. Any game. Yes. Open that's the hardest. That's true. Now Theory, sending it back into Mox territory, Creed going for a nasty triple tap. That's a, that's a nice, I don't know if it was One, lucky or, or skill there, one, but... two, <laughs> the three. three. That's insane. Triple that's, tap dunk, dunk, love to see it. That's nice. Just a good display of skill, though. For sure. See if they go for a fake on this kickoff. They do, to Creed. They do love setting up fakes on their kickoffs. I've seen it twice now. Okay. Pranzer gonna clear with the pinch. Uh, Cabot unable to follow up. Creed just gonna boom it down mid, try and set up the center for Threary, but Patient Zero has the clear. Wilk going in, continuing that aggression, but they do not have the men or the positioning to follow up on that goal. Now they might, but Patient Zero just there with the clear. This is where it starts getting dangerous if we keep letting them rotate in, but they clear it. It's fine. Life goes on, and a shot towards the uh, HPU goal. Unfollowed up, though. Now Creed going off the backboard. Cabot now awkward here. Going to miss it. That's an opportunity for high point. They're going to take advantage. Creed. Goal. Cuts the lead down to one with 16 seconds to go. And that... That might not feel like a lot, but it's possible for them to win here. It is. Cabot with a nice kickoff there. Now Creed has another chance. Flicking it up to his teammate. Nice pass there, there. but Pranzer is... Cannot get the read. Great, great defense there, Pranzer. All right. This should be safely Florida Southern, but if they can hit a, pe a uh, period of dribbles and aerials, nice. they are just not going to get. All right. It's a nice Good kill there. Florida Southern closes out game number one, going up in the series one to zero. Best of five series. This has felt like a really good match so far. Uh, both sides sort of playing that very one-sided style, where it is either on their side of the court or it is not. There's no middle ground play here. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. But what we're seeing is continually HPU making the first mistake or making an unforced error where they rotate three on a ball rather than FSC being the first one. It's true. That being, that being said, they made those mistakes at the end and that allowed High Point to take two points. Nearly tie the series. It, so was, it was close. There's blood in the water here. It is. Yeah, absolutely. It was a close game one. Now we're into game number two here. Quick kickoff, patient zero, sending it to Theory, who is now regretfully defending his own net. Uh, we're going to see the HPU defense just try and ward off this pressure from FSC. And all three men are there, unable to do anything for now. FSC is going to keep pounding at goal and try to, try to make something stick, but a beautiful save is just going to clear the ball. Theory has it back, though. Pinch, sort of centering it for FSC. Not going to be able to do much with it, though, as Wilk takes possession and drives it down FSC's territory. Saved by Cabot, though. Wilk passing to his teammate. Misses the follow-up. Cabot takes it. But Wilk gets his... No, Cabot does get the boost there. Very important. Demos Cabot, and the play is killed once again. Uh, Cabot off the respawn. Gets the ball again. Great positioning there. Love to see it. Uh, takes ball again. Uh, now it's in Florida Southern's territory, and we're going to see them play this rotation game where it's shot after shot leveled at them. And they have to be the ones to rotate correctly and not break here. Another save. Another missed shot. Good. Rooting for my boys here. Cabot's able to clear, but Theory's able to keep it still on that Florida Southern side. Wilk able to center something, potential follow-up, but patient zero saves any follow-up. There we go. Cabot going to try to go for the clear. A dribble. He's ahead of two. Is there a man goal? There is a man goal. And no follow-up from his teammates for a center. Heard. Creed demos patient zero, so they're playing one man up for a second. Cabot sending. Theory defending. And Patient Zero just continuing the charade. It's going to be caught by Wilk, sent back to Florida Southern's territory. And Creed is going to send it to his man Theory. And 
we'll just keep playing this neutral game of who's going to make that first mistake, who's going to make that first error. Once again, we're seeing a barrage of shots towards the Florida Southern side. And they're returning it back to HPU. Now when they have possession, let's see what they do here. Patient zero clears. Wilk sends again. Cabot clears. Potential team play? No. A lot of back and forth here. No one can quite break that seal on that goal. There's an opportunity for Cabot, clear by Wilk. It's a nice demo. We'll interrupt the rotations here for High Point. We're nearly halfway, we're more than halfway through the game, and we've been watching this very similar play style. And it's great to see our boys not crack, but I also want to see them crack the other team's defense, force that first mistake, force that error. Go for those demos, take the man advantage, and send them to their first, well, get your first goal. Absolutely. Nice save there by Patient Zero. Could have been a little awkward. We're going to see the three-man pressure from HPU right here. Cabot, Cabot gets a nice clear, but Wilk centering it for the next man. Cabot clearing it. Theory trying to deflect it away from his own goal, and they're going to send it back into FSC territory. Creed trying to follow up, doesn't send it into goal, and Patient Zero is going to fly by it. Pranzer is sending it straight at the net. That should be well defended. Uh, he's going to have a follow-up chance. No, but Theory hits an amazing off-the-wall shot, and Patient Zero gets his ankles broken. But it sets him up for the return from Cabot. And all three men? No. One man on respawn. That demo not working out for HPU. He respawns, defends the net. All goes well. It's great. Theory with an amazing shot up? No. Oh, man. A great defense by Cabot to keep that composure uh, as the dribble comes straight at him. Now Pranzer off the wall. I saw. I thought Theory had an amazing shot lined up there, but Cabot, Cabot was right there. Looked like a good Creed with the clear. Now Wilk's gonna have a chance here to make something happen. Not quite actually. Cabot. Cabot's right there. Provides the stability. Back on the uh, HPU side. Wilk dodging a demo there. Very, very nice reaction time there. Pranzer just bringing it in front of his own net, clearing it. Creed trying to center for one of his teammates, but Cabot's once again right there, denying that center. Cabot now dribbling, nice 50 there. Creed is there to push it back. Nice Looks like we're going to go to OT with this one. We might be, five seconds left. With a beautiful pinch to Creed, who's able to, oh! able to score. I ca we cast a curse. Second shot. I, bl I blame myself for that caster curse. My mistake. I'll never do it again. That's good. <laughs> one second to go. High Point University taking the lead, one to zero. This is. You can still get a good kickoff here. Can and not no, that one though. Not that one. And that'll seal the deal for game number two. High Point ties the series back up, one to one. They just killed it mid, and it couldn't couldn't make it to a wall or into the air. What I like here is it's a very competitive game and you can watch the styles of play just be so similar throughout the match. Yeah, absolutely. Creed with just an amazing Hail Mary play, a pinch, I believe it was a pinch from Theory, he sent it far top right and Creed just had that follow up to just send it directly dunk into goal. Yeah, I want to see a little bit more uh, passing plays from the side of Florida Southern. There was a lot of just hitting the ball. I, th I think they're capable of doing much more. We saw a little bit of, an, of it in game one. I'm hoping we'll see a little what bit I'd more here. What I'd also like to know is how much of that was arrogance. How True. much of it was Florida Southern saying, we're up one, hey, maybe we can play it the match that pace. True. Good Did point. they slow down? I guess we'll see. If, this should light a fire under them. Hopefully. Absolutely. Now Creed going towards center. Nice pass. Oh, that was Oof. nearly a disgusting aerial dunk. Cabot? Nice touch just off the goal there by Cabot. But this is good. They're pressuring this HPU defense. They're forcing those commits. They are. And if they can keep up this pressure, somebody will make a first mistake. Yes, the pace seems faster than game number two, which I think favors FSC as we see Prans are going towards net. Theory, nice save. Two men up, two men miss. Can't <laughs> quite Andrew make contact with it. Now Cabot has a chance, gonna get bumped. But everyone's missing. There's so much opportunity here for someone to come in here 
You know, fans I, are. I think we're seeing a little bit of nerves here. Well, we might but be. FSC, there it is. But a FSC pass. just. You can watch the panic from every player as they just miss and miss. Yes. And FSC takes advantage of that panicked rotation with HVU and just centers it, sends it in net. I think in this matchup, the higher pace gameplay favors Florida Southern, and we see it just there as Cabot sinks the ball into the net, going up in this game 1-0. Some great team play from Cabot and Panzer there. Absolutely. Patient zero is going to hit a center to Cabot. Will he be able to fall off on it? No, but he'll be able to read the top from theory. This duo of Pranzer and Cabot have been playing together for quite a few years at this point. Um, they are kind of the, they're the ones who were here last year on the team and still here uh, because they're third graduated. So this so, duo knows each other pretty well. So they're the backbone and they have they that are. synergy. Yes, absolutely. And when they're on point, they're on point. Cabot here to defend, unable to make it happen. But we're going to see a massive three-man pinch, and the ball just does not go into the Florida Southern net, to put it one. <laughs> yeah. uh, some nice dribbles here by Will. Oh! Zero. Can't quite you read hate, that properly. You hate to see that you one. You do. That one's just awkward to defend. You don't know if they're going to hit when their last hit's going to be. And No, I saw shades of myself playing rock. Yeah, there, <laughs> yeah, right? True. It does happen. We it have does. those moments. It does. But now Florida Southern's got to get it back. Pranzer now. Pranzer going for a deep dribble, just straight into HPU territory. But Creed and the boys responding. Now Pranzer going to do some air dribbling, a nice flick. That's going to be awkward, going towards net. There it is, Pranzer. Just puts it right over the defender, who's just, I think he messes up his flip here and isn't able to get off the ground. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, I don't think he, he, he I don't think flips. he read the, the flip there. The second flip yeah. that Pranzer did in the air was a little uh, little much for this uh, high point defense. Florida Southern taking the lead once again 2-1. to one. But look at this. And then a kickoff goal. These are heartbreakers and they're momentum killers. This is the number one unforced error of Rocket League. It is. It's a kickoff goal it made is. against you. The and enemy team does nothing hurts. that is all on you. It takes you as a team a minute, minute and a half to find a goal finally, and then it's their lead is taken away within seconds. Now they're angry. They Watch are that. hopefully going to be angry here. Cabot going off the wall. I want to see zero to defend. Just turn up the octane on these plays. I hope so. It's really what we want to see from this mock. I think if we see team. more and more speed... Yeah, HBU will panic. Absolutely. As I said, I think the speed favors FSC in these situations. Pranzer now. A nice touch by Cabot interrupts the shot opportunity. A Wilk. miss by High Point. Now Pranzer not going to beat Wilk to the ball. We're going to see the full three-man rotation from HPU. And if Cabot's able to get it over Wilk, nobody's in that. But he's not. Wilk saves the game. Sends it back into Florida Southern territory. And Patient Zero is going to be playing that don't make the first mistake game. Exactly. As HPU's three man squad continues to rotate and try and center and find an opportunity. Cabot just playing the game, keeping it safe. Florida Southern Gold not challenged for a while now, so they might be able to clear soon. Yep. There it is. Nice clearance. But Theory's going to send it straight back. Try and. Nope. As Cabot, amazing shot, blocked by Will, patient zero with minimal follow-up, and Cabot has to try and recenter again. It's not going to make him to goal. Nice opportunity here. Oh, oh my oh, god! I, absolutely I gorgeous. My word. <laughs> that is the the reverse caster curse. Oh yeah. What? Absolute I eat gorge. all oh, of my words. Flip. Look at he that flip reset. reset. Oh. oh, my word. Love to, love to see it. It was absolutely gorgeous wonderful, ball handling. Wonderful manipulation. Florida Southern taking the lead once again up 3-2. to two. Patient Zero going to kill it mid. Theory's going to instantly take advantage of that, try and add that pressure. Oh, a couple missed shots here by point point, but their creed is going to secure every, that goal. Every time Florida Southern goes up one, Every time. They HBU, lose it right HBU away. just responds so quickly, so extremely. And I always wonder, is that overconfidence? Are it, they getting It could relaxed? be overconfidence, or it could be the need, the urgency to, to score on the high side of high point, where they're kind of sitting back until they're behind. I have to say, the high could point be both. early game has been very good. Every kickoff, you see them take this early aggression. Yes. And it's their window for the next minute. It's true. 
And if, if you're Florida Southern, you cannot let them have that minute, especially when there are only 49 seconds left in a match. Correct. 45 Pace seconds, a nice one shot. To... Yes, there it is. That was beautiful. He just hits it with the little butt tap, and to goal what? it goes. Uh, that's geometry, boys and girls, yes, right there. Sir. Geometry. Look, when I was a goalie, I always just, like, turned around, let the ball hit me in the rear. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Same thing. Yeah, less yep. damage to my chest. Yep, yep. Exactly. Nice shot there. Oh, I can hear myself speaking. Yes, me too. <laughs> 30 seconds left here, Florida Southern up 4 to 3. Pranzer playing fast, playing aggressive. Patient zero ah, oh. going off the back, but Kevin has an opportunity. Kevin doesn't have a follow up, but HPU defense is there. Uh, if you're Florida Southern, you just want to keep it on the HPU side. You can't let Creed get up like this because he's going to do this to you. He is. You give him, you give him an inch, he's gonna take a mile, and he does it just there. Nobody rotating to net fast enough to engage Creed there. Well, Patient Zero had the boost, I think, to to contest that, but decides but to play two, back a little bit more. There are two more. other men in them on that team. No, it's true. You have three men. Six seconds. One of them should be. In three seconds to go here. Four, four. An opportunity there, oh. gonna be saved by the. Clock. I, w I was clenching my, uh, clenching yep, my yep. thighs on that one. Yeah, yeah. Now we're uh, in overtime here. Golden goal opportunity. First team to score here wins this game. I love watching FSC take this aggressive kickoff. Yes. It's, it's Absolutely the first different time we've seen it. From any of their paces before. Ooh. Patient Zero with that response. And that is going to be a beautiful setup. Nice Spencer. opportunity. But there with his defense. Nice defense there. They're going to clear. Patient Zero should be able to keep the aggro. It, he is. Cabot left in no man's land. Pranzer keeping the aggression once again, not letting it go on that Florida Southern side. This is very important, you know? If you make a mistake in their territory, you just have to defend it. If you make a mistake in your territory, you lose the game. It's a goal, here. absolutely. Patient Zero now going to try to make something happen. Getting... Turning that ball around as much as he can. Prans are off the wall. Now Cabot's going to have a chance to do something. Good, good, good. Looking to get something started. Can't quite make contact with it now. Prans going to have a chance. Going towards center. Creed. Awkward scuffle in mid, but Patient Zero is just going to send it right back. Say, no, no clearing for you. Oh, nice. huge boom. That was a nice boom there by Cabot. Now Theory. Creed. Wow. Back to theory, but Pranzer pinches with him, and we see an awkward sort of transition back into that HPU defense. Love to see it as a Florida Southern caster. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Cabot misjudged that. Now Wilk's going to have a chance to do something. Oh, fakes it. That's Cabot cool. with a nice save. Cabot being there is huge, because when Patient Zero misses that aerial, it's very scary. A shot there, Patient Zero just trying to get... His car in front of the ball. Reed's Creed quite well. This is still very good for Florida Southern. If they can just clear and not make this mistake here. Oh, a nice save there Will by Cabot. Going for a nasty but now Creed. Dunk. Creed has a chance. Wide. Wilkes not ready for it. Oh. A nice clear by Cabot. Cabot's going to have a chance Cabot's at something get here now. Here. And this is going to be a total reset across the board. Florida Southern able to play oh. aggressive once again. Another set of opportunities for them. But Creed's going to try and open up his own set of opportunities. He's going to take him to Florida Southern Territory, and we're going to see a pinch from Panzer. Franzer. Some opportunities on both sides of the ball here for both teams. This is a long overtime. We're at two and a half minutes at this point. This is half of a normal game length. This is a long back and forth match, and I have to ask the question, what does this match's winner determine? Because if it you could go be the series. Two minute long over, three minute long overtime. How do you feel after if you lose? Oh my lose? gosh, absolutely. So there's more riding on this than just one game. Yes. This could be a mental boom. This is the, this is the pace and the momentum of the entire series right here. And Wilkes taking that possession, taking that pace, trying to set it up. Creed tapping but not scoring. That's good for, good for Florida Southern. Cabot trying to set him the ball. Only one in net. If you can juke him, which you can't. It's a nice center, though. Pranzer, follow-up. Patient Zero, even more follow-up. Keeping it aggressive and keeping HPU on their toes. Oh, oh, a nice shot and a save there by Wilk. Wilk. Now going the opposite direction. Wilk just 
that was doing amazing there. Interesting flick there. Pinches it against his own goal there. I thought it was going in, but good job. Good job. Theory has a chance, but Cabot's going to have a nice chance here. Ooh, Creed interrupting that pass. Once again, HPU feeling that pressure from FSC, but clearing it, it exerting their own pressure, and Patient Zero responding, sending it to goal. It's going to be a little high for Cabot. Cabot heading back. Awkward, no follow-up. Allows HPU to seize that momentum once again, but there it is. Florida Southern, three men. Ooh. All able to play aggro, but now they have to retreat back to net. Unless Patient Zero does that. Oh, great. nice opportunity and there! Is. Cabot! With the goal! This mid-challenge from Patient Zero comes out of nowhere, catches all of HPU off guard, and Creed is left to hightail it back to his own net. And he's just unable to. What a long overtime. Four when minutes. You have two men mid. You watch them double commit for that ball that Patient Zero managed to snag. You have two men mid and one man on rotation back to net. That one man on rotation back to net isn't able to get there fast enough. And since you have two men committing for one ball, the follow up just puts it in net. Absolutely. Fantastic. End to game number three there. Mox going up in the series two to one. It Mox. is a best of five series, so all they need is one more game. Mox forcing that series. first error. And that's yeah. really great to see. Just, I wouldn't say perfect play, but consistent play for how many minutes was that? Four overtime minutes? So long. Exactly. So long. And like we said, we talked about the momentum. We talked about the, the mental fortitude that would be required if you lost this game to go into the next game. It's all going to be put to the test now. I mean, we head into this game, Florida Southern taking that game. Now, I mean, from High Point's perspective, you've got a mountain to climb. Well, if I'm High Point, I realize that this is a very winnable game still. That was close. It was extremely close to the wire, which means this next game is definitely winnable for them. And as long as they don't sink into it, as long as they don't sink into it, they will not, they still have an opportunity to bring this back. They do, they do, here we go. Kicked oh. off game number four. Interesting bout mid that sends it to HPU defense. Uh, Cabot's gonna steal it from Creed, who's just unable to keep it on the wall. Cabot has an opportunity center. here. Any follow up, no. Team isn't quite Patient there. Zero follows up late. Creed's gonna have a nice shot, but he's not gonna take it. Instead gonna try back pass to Theory, who's able to Get denied by the crossbar. Oh, oh, oh. Once again, crossbar. Crossbar and... coming in hot for Florida Southern there. Is it? Who that shot that goes right off of that. Who yeah. put them there? Exactly. Someone the moved it. Somebody moved it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, crossbar giveth and crossbar taketh. It's true. And patient zero can't quite connect. Creed going to run it down mid. Uh, Cabot with a nice challenge. interruption there. Now Cabot going towards net. Going to get bumped out of the way. Creed just sitting on the... Left wall, waiting for a chance to send it to Florida Southern. <laughs> Just circling, a shark in the water. Patient Zero switching it up. Prans are going to have a nice deflection. Going towards center, going to have a chance to go back to himself on that pass. I think we're getting into dangerous territories here. If HPU is stabilizing right now, and if they score that next goal, that momentum that we talked about will be in their favor. You know, that'll, that'll reset that mental state. It's, true. it's been nearly two minutes. Absolutely. And they're stable. It's, you love to see that if you're here for HPU. Creed going to take a bout towards Florida Southern's goal with a beautiful just right over the Florida Southern defenders. Absolutely. You could see the think, the thought process from Creed here on if to touch it again or not. He just pops it, and it wasn't what was it's predicted. all needed. Yeah, that's yeah. all that was needed there. A high point going up 1-0. Three and a half minutes left to go in game number four here. FSC reminded of their own mortality once again. Absolutely. And sometimes you need that to, to kick yourself back into the gear here to close out the series. Patient Zero interestingly passing it to Wilk. Probably not on purpose, but it does happen. Absolutely. Now we're going to watch HPU press, pressure this Florida Southern defense again. Cabot with a nice clear. Only clear. theory up. Unable to send it towards net, but potentially set it up for a team. Oh, a Absolutely. nice bump there. Oh, and a nice oh, finish there by Patient wonderful, Zero. Wonderful setup, wonderful follow Holy follow cow. Patient Zero. Ooh. He just self-serves. 
You know, probably wasn't intended, but he has the reaction to be able to treat it as a self serve. Absolutely. Tying this, the game back up one oh, to one. Prancer this is going to be an awkward shot. Beautiful tap. here. Can Florida Southern follow up on that? Cap it going towards center. Back yes, to himself. Yes, he can. Patient Just zero. a little high. Patient zero can't quite get the connection he wanted. Creed sending it deep to his teammate, but Cabot's going to challenge that and put the pressure back on HPU, forcing them to respond, sending it mid. And now, ball sort of frozen in no man's land, but Theory's going to try and take it to the net. Creed's going to play back on defense, catch the boom from Florida Southern, and slowly work it down the diagonal of mid and try and set up a dribble on the Florida Southern net. But Cabot's just going to bump him out of the way, say, no, don't do that. <laughs> Franzer going deep. Pranzer with a nice shot. Creed's there to save it. Two men from HPU committing on that. Patient Zero with a nice shot. Creed to Cabot. It's probably going to be picked up by Pranzer. And Patient Zero should have the defensive net here. Very good. Pranzer having a chance here, getting a clear. Nice touch there. Pranzer now having an opportunity to take a shot. Oh. It's going high. Look for the double touch. Creed going to interrupt the shot. You hate to see beautiful Ariel interrupted, but I understand it. But I understand why. <laughs> Absolutely. Now oh. a shot opportunity. Theory sees blood in the water there, but... Oof. Now Creed has a chance. Patient zero. No one can make it. a connection. Oh, that's beautiful. Theory off the backboard. Patient zero. Everybody kind of fakes each other there. Net, net reset across the board. Now We're going to see another bout of attacks on that Florida Southern goal, and Creed is just going to sink the dunk. There's a nice a nice air dribble there by Creed. Has the chance to just kind of dribble it in. Does get a flip reset there and taps it right over the defenders of Florida Southern. Unable to pull off that squishy save. We got one minute left in this game number four. The Mox trailing two to one in this game. But we've seen this exact scenario at least twice now. We have, you know? and they always end up going really close. If HPU can prove that Florida Southern is mortal, Florida Southern can, choose, can show that HPU is mortal. Oh, it's true, and there we go, that's a miss. Abba Wilkes there to follow you're up. HPU, you're, you're clenching your cheeks now. Yeah, you are a little bit, you are a little yeah. bit. Creed now with the dribble. Cabot with the demo. Now patient zero. We need to see some decisive Agro from the Mox here, and that is a great way to set it up. Oh, a nice pass and a nice shot for Creed. I want to see follow up. On now, this. patient this zero oh. off the wall. Gonna be a chance. No follow up there from Florida Southern. 17 seconds. We want to see. We want to see Florida Southern take aggression because if they let HPU take it into their net, it is as good as lost. Six seconds left. Game number four, Creed going towards center. Creed just keeping it on that Florida Southern side, and he's just going to let this drop. Yep, and there it is. Game number four going on the side of high point. We are tied again in this series now, two to two. All right, what do we need to see out of the Mox in game number five? I want to see them go up. I think every time they go up, they immediately go down. Yep. And I want to see that consistent overtime gameplay we saw from them where they can't allow themselves to make a mistake and they won't allow themselves to make a mistake. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is game number five, best of five series. This this is where it comes down to. I mean, all the, the first four games don't matter at this point. We're, we're in game five. It's a clear slate of the, the scoreboard, and whoever takes this game away takes the whole series. I want to see them... With, that, with I want to see them play the ball on HPU side as much as HPU plays mm. the ball on Florida Southern side. Don't let them take that space. Take their space. Absolutely. I want to see some uh, some passing here on the side of Florida Southern. Those opportunities between Cabot and Pranzer have been absolutely phenomenal to watch, and they pr proved to be successful. Uh, and uh, here we go. Maybe it'll start here with Cabot. Looking towards center, pass to Pranzer. Pranzer quite, not quite there. Unable to pull off the pinch there, but it would have been beautiful to see, certainly. Patient Zero is going to play with it mid. Going to send it up for a teammate. Again, going to pinch mid to uh, that same play. Patient Zero able to set up something for his teammate or himself. Oh, nice shot there, just nice. a little high. 
Prans are not quite there. But again, this is beautiful pressure on that HPU defense line. Another nice shot there for the Mox. Creed. Can't quite make it in. Now Creed going to dribble it. Nice defense there. Amazing read. Patient zero. Going to boom it down mid. It's going to be scary. It's a nice boom there. Yeah. Pranzer shot off the wall. Cabot's going to deflect it. Definitely challenging HPU, but not necessarily anything they should be scared of yet. Oof. That is that the, was that's what's scary. That was that was nice there on the side of Florida. Now the ball oh. getting boomed to the other side of the field. It's gonna I had some pressure to the defense of Florida Southern. I had a worry there. Thought I was about to see an own goal in motion. That would have been unfortunate. Cabot, nice shot there, Wilk, with the opportunity to clear it. But he can't. But he hasn't cleared it. He Forces has the commit from Creed, and he's going up with 29 boost. He's going to have to get out soon. But he's gonna take a man with him. Oof! Nice defense there. I can't oh. quite with the follow up theory that, scoring. That demo right there. Yes. Is insane. It really it it, it turned the the tide it of that forces little. Forces Cabot to have to commit for that, mm -hmm. and Pranzer is in a position that's not ready for the second touch. Versus if Cabot hadn't had to commit for it, he would have been ready for that second touch. Absolutely. Those demos can throw off rotations and defense so well. It's a massive tool, one that I personally dislike, but I... Creed with a oh. beautiful air dribble over Creed, the defense. Creed's dunks and double taps have just been on point this match. Yes. I have to give it to him. Really strong player. Aerial possession is just fantastic out of Creed today. HPU with a fake there, uh, able to start with some early aggression to Florida Southern that way, but interestingly oh. enough, hmm. it's an opportunity there for Pranzer, couldn't quite get a hold of it. Now Theory going to have a chance, patient zero clearing it to the side. Not sure how Florida Southern ended up with that opportunity there, but you know what? They'll take it. Absolutely. Patient zero, unfortunate. Um. I, I cursed us again uh, about uh, uh, rewind, rerun the tapes. What did uh, I just say? An unfortunate own goal for Florida Southern puts them now down three goals, which is the largest deficit of the series at this point. Can they overcome this? Are they able to keep that mental? It's going to be tough. There's two and a half minutes. If they can get on the board relatively quickly, I mean, I think it's possible. Hmm. An opportunity there. Open net. The hardest to score on. Yeah, we've seen a lot of opportunities on the side of High Point here. I wonder where these opportunities are coming from. I'm not Is quite it a lack sure. Of mechanics or rotation right now. I'm not sure. I see Patient Zero having zero boost at this point, trying to defend, can't make something happen. Cabot now just trying to get the ball out of the offensive end. I want to see Florida Southern stabilize these rotations and start playing more aggressive, more fast, and then. Try and make some real change happen here. You have a minute 39. You do. Here's Down an opportunity three. for Patient Zero. Patient Zero going to put it in go. the goal. That's his redemption right there. There it is. That's the goal he needed to get back. Now they need two more goals a to get back 35. into this tie. Down two now. Yeah, absolutely. This is a winnable game. It is. Minute 35 left. Florida Southern down two goals. HPU faking that kickoff once again. It's something they love to do. But I think Florida Southern's ready for that now. They twice now they've been putting it right back into HPU territory saying nice fake we'll respond absolutely Cabot gonna have a chance to clear not able to do it Wilk's gonna center it but patient zero with an amazing clear there that was dangerous and he's right there doing what he needs to do Creed taking it down with a Whew. wonderful shot. What a dribble. Creed just using this I don't this even cross, know how you defend this. Creed just uses this crossbar so well. An absolutely beautiful flick. Too much for the Florida Southern defense. You just have to pre-jump that and hope that you predicted it right. You know? I, I guess. Absolutely phenomenal S play out of Creed this game. Right, here. <laughs> right, right, right. Creed is just looking so Hanzo strong. with a very nice self-tap off the ceiling. Good double. Sets it up for his team. Look at that three-man commit from HPU. It's a lot there. Florida it's an opportunity there for Florida Southern. They play a little faster there. That's There's follow-up on that. But 
they didn't. So here we are again, pressuring HPU. Demoing one man, opportunity here. Two men in net, two men commit, is there follow up? No. Yes, wonderful. Ah, oh, oh, Just consistent, good, one at a time rotation after that initial two man commit. You'll see, you see them take those blocks one by one, mm -hmm. not giving two. Their third man is able to respawn and rotate in, and the imminent shot from Pranzer is blocked. Yep. And it's Patient zero towards center. Now Pranzer having an opportunity. Patient zero can't quite make it happen, and that's going to be game that number is five. The match. That is the match. Florida Southern dropping I love the match two the to three. Mental resiliency from High Point to come back from that two from that one game deficit point. Deficit, deficit where FSC is that game point and say no, we're gonna stick our hand, our heels on the ground, keep playing consistently, play more consistently than you, and punish you on your rotations. It is a great mental stabilization from them, and congratulations. It is. High Point University takes tonight's match three to two in this best of five series. Thank you everybody for joining, stopping by. Be sure to follow us on social media, especially Twitter at Mox Esports. Again, thank you to my co my co host Coop slash Callen, yeah. and I'm Coach Antor. I'm glad we to be on. Hoping to be on more consistently. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys next time. Go Mox.